Hello guys, this is a case of right LMN facial palsy. When I am asking the patient to close her eyes, she is able to close her left eye but not able to close her right eye. You can see it again. She is not able to close her right eye. So then I am asking to make frowning of forehead. She is able to make at left side but not able to frown on the right side. So this is loss of frowning. Then the patient is asked to show her clench her teeth. We can see there is deviation to left side and we can observe the loss of nasolabial folds on the right side. And now I am asking the patient to blow air in the cheeks. So you can see in the left side it is normal. In the right side there is decreased swelling or less amount of air she can hold. Then coming to what is Burl's palsy. Burl's palsy is acute idiopathic lower modern neuron type of 7th now or facial now palsy coming to risk factors diabetes mellitus and pregnancy more common in females cause cause is unknown but some cases is due to reactivation of herpes simplex virus or vasella joster virus coming to symptoms as you have seen patient is not able to close her eyes completely and there will be excessive tearing and there will be deviation of anglomorph to one side and there will be ruling of saliva and there will be facial pain and there will be preceding pain behind the ear and there will be loss of taste and there will be some hy uh, hypersensitivity to sound that is hyperacusis and coming to diagnosis we can diagnose by typical history and by examination and ruling out of other causes with imaging then we can grade facial nerve palsy by Bragg's house grading and coming to treatment treatment by oral steroids like prednisolone 1 mg per kg body weight for 5 days to 1 week with or without antivirals like acyclovir or valcyclovir coming to differential diagnosis ramsey hunt syndrome middle ear pathologies like cholestitoma or acoustic neuroma etc coming to prognosis 90% of the cases recover completely and complications are incomplete recovery facial spasms crocodile tears and we should ask the patient to undergo physiotherapy to hasten the recovery and we should do electro diagnostic test like nerve condition of facial nerve thank you guys please subscribe